Hello Pisces, this is Renee, and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you are returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so very much. Pisces, this is your 2023 predictions for the year. This is what's coming next for Pisces. What Pisces can expect in 2023. The Ace of Swords. Yes. And we have the Four of Cups. We have the King of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. Oh, and we have one that fell here. And we have the Two of Pentacles. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces in 2023? The World Card, okay. What else for Pisces? I feel like these. We have the Seven of Cups, the Emperor, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Wands, and the Six of Cups. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords. So I feel like, Pisces, I feel like you're going into this year, in 2023, I feel like you're going into this year with a lot of disappointment. I feel like something's disappointed you to the point that you're not sure where it's going to lead you. But if you look around the corner, with this new year, Pisces, you have a lot of new thoughts. A huge breakthrough is coming through for you. This is going to bring a lot of new thoughts, a lot of new ideas. This is a breakthrough that you've been expecting, that you've been waiting for. This is the answers that you've been wanting to the questions that you have asked. This is something that's going to come by a great surprise to you that these questions are answered. It's all going to totally make sense. And I feel like it's going to leave you very surprised by how this all unfolds. I feel like you're, you're not expecting it. You're not expecting it at all. But I feel like it's just the surprise that you need. Because you have the King of Wands. So I feel like this year in 2023, I feel like you're really changing yourself up, Pisces. I feel like you're going to be changing your appearance. You may be changing your hair in a totally different style. You may be changing your look. Maybe you're changing your dress. But I feel like it's making you feel more attractive. It's making you feel more confident, more powerful. I also feel like you're even more charming than you already are because of this confidence. But it brings some life into you. It brings a spark. Come, some kind of spark that you needed. Because I feel like you're still having moments where you feel like you have a lack of confidence. Like you're... Like you can't... Just can't get your priorities straight. No matter how hard you balance, you feel like... Things just don't seem quite right. Something is out of balance. 
And I feel like it's that balance that you're searching for. You're trying to set your priorities. And maybe you're trying too hard. Um, maybe you should go with the flow of the situation. That's how I'm feeling, Pisces. I feel like you may just have to follow your intuition. Pisces is the most intuitive of the signs. You guys can follow your intuition just by instinct because that's a characteristic of your sign. That's a characteristic of Pisces. You are the most intuitive. Just listen to that intuition and it's going to guide you in the right direction. Listen and be true to yourself, Pisces. Okay, we have the world. And we have the Seven of Cups. Okay, so I, I feel like you are setting your goals. You're completing your goals. Some kind of completion is coming through for you. This also may be you traveling this year. You also may be traveling the distance. But I feel like you have choices. And it may be that you can't make up your mind. You can't make up your mind, Pisces, because you have too many choices. I think you're overthinking it. You may have times when you're truly overthinking your situation because I feel like it's balanced. It's complete. You've concluded some sort of situation, but you're still overthinking it. You're still thinking it through. It's done. It's done and over with, and you're still thinking it through. How you can fix the situation. But you've come to a completion. You are starting a new beginning. You're starting new. You're starting fresh. Look, you have the... You have the Ace of Swords above the world. So this is your new beginning after this completion. This is your new beginning. Don't dwell on things of the past, Pisces. Take control of your situation. The, uh, you have the Emperor and the Three of Wands. So I feel like, you know, with the Emperor, I feel like yeah, you need to make some plans. You need to take control of your situation. You need to um, plan things out. This also may be a father figure or someone older or wiser around you who is helping you make plans or decisions for the future. Someone is helping you expand your horizons. This also may be you traveling um, as well because the world card and the three of wands are both cards of expansion. It's both cards of travel. Um, so definitely you could be traveling. The eight of wands is a card of travel as well. It's also a card of communication. So I feel like before the, before the end of the year, You may be receiving messages or communication or someone from the past may be coming back into your world. Someone may resurface from your past. This may be an ex coming through. This may be somebody else, but I, I truly feel like this is someone returning into your life or wanting to return. They're going to send you some sort of communication. They're going to take some sort of action. And I feel like this person really, really wants a infinitive answer from you. That may be the reason why you have the Seven of Cups. That may be the reason why you're having so many difficult choices to make because of this person coming in from the past. I feel like they're leaving you in a little bit of confusion because as I'm doing your reading, I'm feeling a little bit of confusion. I'm feeling like I'm not quite sure of the outcome. 
Okay, Pisces. What do we have for Pisces? What is the outcome? Okay, King of Pentacles. So whatever this is, you are going to overcome it. You're going to... You're still going to be on solid ground. This is... This is definitely some kind of communication coming through that's going to lead you into a more prosperous time. The King of Pentacles, he's very profitable. He's very prosperous. He's very wise. He's a good investor. And he knows he knows where to invest his money and how to invest his money to create more money. Okay, and you have the Seven of Swords. So, Pisces. Yeah, I feel like you should be careful of somebody around you who may betray you. Someone's trying to steal something from you. Be careful for people around you who are liars, cheaters, stealers, people with addiction that really can't help but take for their addiction. Be careful for these people around you, Pisces. Okay, but you have the magician. So, on a better note... I feel like you are you are the creator of your story, Pisces. I feel like with the magician, I feel like can't nothing can't nobody take anything from you that you wouldn't give to them. I feel like if the seven of swords person, this person that's coming into lie, cheat, or steal, I feel like what you're saying with this magician card, Pisces, is if they only ask, I'll just give it to them. They don't have to steal it from me. They don't have to take it without asking. If they just ask, I'll give it to them. That's, that's how I feel with this magi magician card. I feel like you feel like easy come, easy go. I can create more. Okay, and you have the Five of Swords. So I really feel like whatever the situation is, I feel like with this Five of Swords energy, I feel like it's not a it it's not a bad energy at all. It's how I'm feeling. I'm not feeling like this is anything strong. I feel like it's conflicts and arguments. Um, but I feel like it's very strong discussions. I feel like this is you having a strong discussion. Putting your feelings out there with somebody. <laughs> exactly. The judgment card. Yeah. It could be that you're feeling judged. So you're having these strong discussions with somebody. You're finding clarity in your situation. This may be also you being redirected back into your magician, back into your magician mode. This may be due to this person coming back into your life. But I feel like, you know what, with this person coming back, taking some sort of action to come back into your life, you know what, I'm not quite sure if, if the judgment card is a yes or a no. This could actually go either way. This could be you renewing the situation with this past person. Or this could be you making a final decision not to go back to this past person. But either way, even though you're undecided, even though you may not have all the answers, Pisces, I still feel like you have a lot of wealth and abundance coming your way. This is this is happiness. This is happiness and more income coming into your life. 
whether you know it or not. This is a legacy. This is something that you pass down. So this is strong, a strong indication that you are going to have a very prosperous year. Even though you're going through these obstacles, these challenges, I still think that you're going to come out ahead, Pisces. Yeah, because you have bittersweet. So, yeah, I feel like this person coming back, if you see this, this couple on here, I feel like this person coming back is kind of bittersweet. I feel like you really don't know how to react to this situation. I feel like at one point you wanted this person back. And it didn't happen. But now you just feel like you're not sure. Yeah, a facade. Yeah, you, you think that this person is just coming back because they want something. They're just coming back to use you. That's how you're feeling with this facade. You're feeling like someone is telling you lies. Someone's extending the story exaggerating trying to benefit themselves in a situation not trying to benefit you but i feel like yeah look toward your spiritual side pisces take on that spiritual nature follow your intuition go with your gut Nine times out of ten, it will not lead you wrong. Okay. Yeah, it is what it is. So I feel like you're you're really not sure where this where the situation is gonna lead. But you do have the grand symphony. So I do I do think whatever you decide, you're gonna come out ahead, Pisces. You also have the beautiful uncaging. So I feel like this year of 2023 is going to be full of very new discoveries. And you know what? I want to take. I want to take another card. Let's do another deck because I want a little bit more clarity in the situation. And before we go, Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and ex extend your reading. Don't tell nobody else. But I'm going to extend your reading because I want to see what's going on here. What's going on for Pisces 2023? Give me some more clarity on these cards for 2023. What is this situation? This person coming back to his life who's, who may be lying, cheating, and stealing from Pisces. What is the situation? What can he be aware of or she be aware of? Okay, the Queen of Swords. Okay, so it may be a Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra coming into your life. It This may be just you really thinking very deeply about somebody. You know what? This person from this past could have been someone that you manifested back into your life, Pisces. This could be someone that you thought up. And now they're coming back. 